wondering if KiwiCo's Koala Crate is worth it for two to four year olds. Overall, yes, I think it is, but it definitely depends on a few things which we'll cover in this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Rachel from The Confused Mom. Welcome to my channel. I share baby and toddler product reviews, activities, as well as Montessori at home tips. And this video is sponsored by KiwiCo, but we've been subscribers to their panel line and their Koala Crate line since like 2020 maybe was when we started subscribing, maybe 2021. Don't quote me on that. But we have tested these out over the years and I'm going to be sharing all of my thoughts and how to make this subscription line work the best for your family. I'm going to talk about who I think it's the best fit for, common concerns people have, and of course our personal experience since getting our first Koala Crate. I currently have a four-year-old and an almost two-year-old, so I'll also be sharing how it's worked for kids, my kids, below the intended age range as well as as we've moved to the top tier of the age range. But first, if you're new to the scene and have no idea what KiwiCo is, I will leave a link to a playlist in the description box below where I share lots of reviews on past crates I've gotten from them. But basically, KiwiCo is a company that's part fun, part learning activities. They produce expert-backed, kid-tested, and award-winning STEAM projects and activities for people of all different ages. They literally have crate lines for newborns all the way up to 101 years old. So there's something for everybody here. They also offer individual products for sale in their storefront, as well as different crate lines by age and interest in their monthly subscription service, all of which are designed to stimulate kids' natural creativity and critical thinking. All of KiwiCo crates ship monthly with the exception of their Panda Crate line which ships every other month. And inside each of the Koala crates, you can expect between two or three different hands-on learning activities, including an instruction booklet and all the supplies you'll need. The crates that have two hands-on learning activities typically also come with a book in there. And for subscribers, you can actually add on a bonus book to each crate for an additional $10.95. So when it comes to my personal experience with the Koala crates, it's really important for me to say first and foremost, I'm a DIYer at heart. So we do a lot of activities around our house naturally. But I love keeping koala crates in our house for last minute activities, especially on rainy days or breaks from preschool and all that type of stuff. These are so handy and they offer a lot of things that I just like couldn't do. The two to four year old crates do require a good amount of parent involvement to follow the instructions, which make them a great way to spend quality time with the kids while building something together, which is such a rewarding feeling to see your finished product you guys accomplished. What really worked best for us though in the two to three year old age range was taking advantage of the KiwiCo storefront. We purchased the window garden, actually per one of your suggestions, as well as the baking and fractions kit, and both of which my kids have absolutely loved. Even to this day, like two years later, they use that baking and fractions kit every single day. It's really such a great buy. Around I'd say three years old is when my oldest really became more interested in following instructions in the KiwiCo crate work. And that's when I found it's provide the best value overall for our family. Currently my son is about 21 months, so younger than the intended age range for the Koala crate line, but he's actually also enjoyed these crates since he was around 12 months old. He often plays with the finished products of whatever my oldest made from the Koala Crate line. So like the glow in the dark firefly or the different musical instruments, he has a blast with these. So I think one of the coolest things is if you do have mixed age kids while the younger one is napping, your older one can go ahead and make the projects with you and really kind of have that quality bonding time. And then when the younger one gets up from a nap, they can go ahead and play with some of the finished products supervised, of course. I think that really ends up stretching the value of these Koala Crates much further than like what I originally anticipated and really made it a ton of fun for the whole family. Now, if your child is between ages, you'll be happy to know that you can actually switch lines at any point in your subscription. Overall, I think KiwiCo did an excellent job matching the crates with the intended age range. And I think one of the biggest benefits to Koala Crates is that it really helps parents connect with their two to three year olds. It's no secret that like two to three years old is just such an odd age. They're not quite a preschooler. They're not quite a baby. They're aware of social interactions, but they don't know how to be in them. The koala crates that come in that two to three year old period, I think do a really good job of focusing less on the activity, but more on instructions for how to play with your child to prime them for step-by-step -step activities in the three to four year old crates. In the little instruction booklets that come in the crate, it shows you how to play with the items, questions to ask this age range. Essentially, it teaches caregivers how to cultivate critical thinking, empathy, fine motor skills, and more in their child, which at the end of 
today is really what they should be working on at this age and why I say it is so age appropriate. Now the benefits of Qualicrates for three to four year olds is a little bit different. Qualicrates in this year really focus a lot more on step-by-step -step instructions and are very activity focused. And I love this because the activities are still engaging when your child is in that four to five year old range. And also I just love that these crates provide so many spin-off activities if you did want to do like preschool homeschooling. So for instance, the farm crate includes three different activities. You can do one a day at home, that's three days of the week, go to the library one day and get a bunch of farm books, that's fourth day. And then on the fifth day, go visit a local farm and voila, you have an entire week's worth of activities for homeschooling a preschooler just like that. Now, like I said, typically three to four year olds are not reading, so parents are going to need to read them instructions and be involved while doing these activities. But like, once you tend to get the ball rolling on them, kids pick it up pretty quickly by themselves and they do come with pictures. And my oldest was able to figure out the instructions just from the pictures on some of these crates. Now with that said, there are some things about the KiwiCo Koala Crate line that past subscribers, I think, would want new subscribers to know, which number one is going to be with KiwiCo subscriptions, you just don't know what you're getting when each month. Like they don't have, this is the first one you get, this was the second one you're going to get. I think the underlying concern with that is you're just not sure if your child will end up liking that month's project. And with that, what I'll say is with younger and older toddlers, you really just want to focus on building their creative confidence and their confidence momentum. And that's kind of why I prefer to have the control in the two to three year old range of using the KiwiCo storefront over the subscription. If my kid wants to play with the items that come in the box in a different way than was intended, I don't end up wanting to feel stressed about them using it correctly. Now, that's my own personal like anxieties and neuroses and not universal to everyone by any means. But if you are in that boat with me, like the storefront is maybe a better option in that two to three year old period. Now, if you wanna go with the Koala Crate subscription because it is a cost saver to do a subscription versus one-off items in their storefront, yet you do struggle with those anxieties and neuroses, what I would suggest is just get really okay with things not looking like the picture and go full steam ahead. Like find joy in that your child building up creativity in a different way. Another option is to set your kid up for success. So review the instruction booklet in advance and choose which activity you think your child can handle at this age or would be interested in at that age and only put that stuff out. Each booklet has the different skills that the activity is working on. So like whether it's fine motor skills or caring or something else, you can really figure out like, okay, my kid's just not in a place to care right now. Maybe don't do one of those where I'm gonna have to keep correcting his caring behavior. And they make it really easy to match where your kid is at with each activity because in the provided booklet, it says what skill the activity is working on, mess level and parent involvement. So you kind of can get a pretty good idea before you even bring this out to your child child, whether or not it's going to build their confidence momentum or leave you both feeling frustrated. Although I will say like the two to three year old ones, again, they really are about teaching you how to talk to your two year old. So for the most part, like it really builds confidence momentum, no problem. And it does it within you too. Additionally, because the Koala Crate line is activity based, you are not likely to have any toy dupes or anything too similar already at home. Because again, this is more about the process than the end product. Although the end products are still fun to play with. The next concern that people tend to have is that you could DIY certain things for less. And that may be true if you have an incredibly well-stocked craft room or plan to do this with multiple kids. However, most of the Koala Crates use really high quality materials with very unique cut woods and felts and I don't have the tools to make those cuts. Again, we really have leaned on koala crates for their ease and convenience. We keep them in the closet for a rainy day activity, babysitter calls out, and if you guys caught our video we sold our house and like all of our stuff and we've kind of been moving around trying to figure out where we want to live so I don't have any of my craft supplies with me really and they have come in handy and actually a cost saver than trying to rebuild an entire craft closet right now. And the last thing to be aware of with a Koala Crate subscription is that when you're checking out with your subscription line, it is set to automatic renewal. If you tend to forget about subscriptions, you'll be happy to know that there's a little button you can push at the bottom of that screen where you can swap out for a non-renewing subscription at a slight markup. Currently, the pricing of Koala Crates ranges from $18.85 without a discount code, which I have for you guys in the description box below, or for as much as $27.95, depending on if you're shopping the storefront or which 
subscription level you are choosing. Now I know you guys are like me though and kind of a little bit of control freaks. If you're watching this video, you probably want to know as much information as possible. So while KiwiCo never publishes their full line of any crate, I have sleuthed the, the internet and this is the most complete list I could discern about the unique crate themes. Now obviously I can only put together 21 here. These ship monthly so you would get 24 and then even with that said, KiwiCo tends to swap out different crates based off of interest and customer feedback and even just I think like holidays sometimes. I'm not totally sure on that. Don't quote me on that. If you've gotten one that I missed from that list, drop it in the comments below. Help each other out as we kind of try to sleuth this together. Again, there's no guarantee that of which of these you'll get because they're always making improvements based off of feedback. So do with that information of what you will, but I did my best for you guys. Like I said, overall, I'm a big fan of the KiwiCo Koala Crate line. I love that these are more about the process than the end product. I'm personally a control freak, so I prefer to shop the KiwiCo storefront for the two to three year old age range and then switch to the subscription at three years old. Although you are going to spend a little bit more money when you purchase through the storefront versus just going with the subscription. To me, that's worth it. But after three, my daughter really just devoured the koala crates and the different themed boxes and art projects are just stuff that I would not have either had in my craft closet or not thought to set up on my own. Overall, I'm a huge fan as they really flex innovation and imagination just so beautifully for this age range. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Are you guys fans of koala crates? Any other questions? Which have been your favorite koala crates for this age range? If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. Be sure to go back and check out my past KiwiCo reviews. And as always, my name is Rachel from The Confused Mom. Have a good one.